Alright, as you might know by now, I got this new product called the SMD DD1. It's a distortion detector and it's mainly used for setting your gains on your car amplifiers. And uh, we've also got a pro kit coming out for home and pro audio use, so keep your eye out for that. But I'm making this video today because I've got a few people who still doubt the ability of the DD1 to get the job done. You know, they're dead set on using their O-scope and, you know, nothing can replace their O-scope. So I'm here to show you the difference between an O-scope and a DD-1. Now the O-scope is great, it does lots more stuff than this does, but this is mainly for setting your gains and it does that very well. So watch what happens here in this video, you'll see. Okay, so this video I'm just going to show uh, a normal gain setting procedure. So we have the gain on the amp turned all the way down, the crossovers on all pass or full range, the head unit. I know is good all the way up, so I'm turning it all the way up to, to 40, and we can see that it's good. There's no distortion. Distortion detector says it's good. Scope says it's good, and I'm going to turn up the amplifier gain so I see a red light. Come on and stay steady. And right there, it shows that I've just about hit clipping or I'm, or I'm distorting in some way. Dial this down so we can see, and there it is. Yep, clear as day nice uh, clipping signal there. I can get it down to right about there the lights that's just when the light lights up that's at one percent of the third harmonic. Okay so in this little demonstration here I want to show that you can read uh, distortion of a head unit or signal processor or whatever in this case we're going to show the distortion that happens inside of a head unit when it internally clips and what that means is that inside the head unit before it gets to the RCA outputs there's something clipping some uh, op amp or something like that that has run out of room and can't make the signal any bigger when that happens in digital things which all head units now are DSP pretty much you get some really weird thing that happen that you don't get the clean sawing off of the sine wave you get some weird distortion so that's what we're going to show so I have uh, the, the distortion detector hooked up here, the scope, don't mind this amplifier, um, and this head unit here. So I've got track one on. This is the 40 hertz, 0 dB track. You can see I'm turning the head unit up. You can see the distortion detector and the scope going to work. So right now the head unit is all the way up. If you look over here you'll see that I'm, it's all the way up and it's as far as it goes and you can see it's totally clean on the scope there's there's no distortion the meter shows no distortion so this is a good head unit this one doesn't clip inside with a zero db track but watch what happens when I turn on the base I turn the base up just to to illustrate what could happen okay you can see it getting bigger as I'm turning the base up turning the base up and right about there you see the distortion detector light on and you can see the distortion in the scope. This is not clipping that you would think of with the, the top of these waves being sawed off. This has got some weird little distortion here and here. And everybody probably heard my finger hit the fan, yeah, haha, uh, it's funny. Go. So in this video I have the uh, same head unit and amplifier as the first video. We know they both work really well. All I've done is I've inserted this generic ground loop isolator in between them. Um, that's all. I've, that's the only thing I've changed. And so this this isolator is is known to be bad. We know that it's bad. So we're going to see how we know it's bad. Well, we were trying to tune Juan's car, and we put 40 hertz, same track that we used before. Everything. If I start turning it up. Look at the distortion detector already reading distortion before the 40 hertz detected lights even on. It can't even detect the 40 hertz. It's so dirty. If I keep turning it up, now we get the 40 hertz light. Distortion is still on. I'll keep turning it up, turning it up. You can see that distortion light just staying on the whole time because look at the signal coming out of this line level converter. Well, actually ground loop isolator in this case. It is just a disaster. So one more example of you might see this and on a little scope screen you know it looks like that from a mile away and you can't you know read it but the distortion detector is picking it up right away. 
Just a quick video here, we're going to compare the SMD DD1 versus the latest and greatest from Audio Precision, the APX 515. This is a $7,000 piece of equipment. So we have a amplifier hooked up and we're going to see the distortion light versus the signal on the scope here and the actual measured distortion on the audio precision. So go ahead and turn it up one until you get the clipping just happening there. So there's the light, there it's off, we're just, just barely turning it on. Let's see, go ahead. There's the signal, you can see a little bit of clipping and the audio precision harmonic distortion level. So that's proof that the accuracy of this thing is perfect. Let me try it one more time. There, again, 1.03. There you have it.